This is a painting of Little Red Riding Hood, which of course is one of the most famous child, childhood stories that uh, we all know. But I tried to paint it in a different fashion, not with Red Riding Hood in the forest with her cloak on and her hood over her head. I thought that was very uh, typical and very common. It's been painted and photographed many times like that. So I tried to do it where the model is uh, a young lady in her underwear, but of course she's wearing red underwear. And I made her, I put her in the center of the painting because she's what the male painting's all about. To the left of her is the wolf and to the right of her is the huntsman's cottage where the grandmother slept and the huntsman kept his axe outside, um, ready to deal with the wolf, I suppose. And I've tried to bring these three main elements together. I also have used a lot of leaves in the painting to give it this forestry look. And in order to get that right, where I live in northwest London, I went up and down the Finchley Road collecting the leaves from the pavement as they fell in the autumn time. Um, and then picking the ones that I like best and putting them in my pocket. Um, but I remember looking round at one point where the traffic had stopped because it was stopped by the traffic lights and there was a lady on the bus looking out at me who thought I must be completely mad. She was killing herself laughing watching me picking up these leaves. Um, I didn't care of course because I needed the leaves but like everything if you're going to paint something you've got to paint it correctly so I needed to get the leaves absolutely correct and when I got back home I stuck them all up around my studio on the walls and everywhere in order to get the reference of these leaves in their autumnal colours absolutely right and so by bringing all this together I feel I've created a new look a new new way a new angle on Little Red Riding Hood and I hope I've been successful. <laughs>